Good Monday morning, everybody. Breaking news here on Freeman Adventures. Bluefin tuna in the Channel Islands on board the Endeavor out of Ventura Harbor Sport Fishing. They got two fish out of seven hookups, and it was an incredible show with the fish up and boiling around and putting on one heck of a show. Taking on live squid and cold snipers. Pretty poor weather right now, but we'll see if we can build on this. Hey, good morning, my friends, and welcome here to Surfside, California, day after Father's Day. Hope you had a wonderful day, and what a lead-in. I'm telling you, they saw quite a bit of bluefin tuna up there in the Channel Islands. We'll talk about what that means. How was the night bite last night for San Diego-based boats? Where did they fish? I've got that info for you. And how was the daytime bite? And, of course, we're looking at San Clemente Island, where there still are some really big yellows being taken out there in that neck of the woods. Several Father's Day trips that were absolutely wonderful. Some that I won't mention just because there are so many, but I just want to commend all you dads out there who spend time with your kids in the great outdoors. It is truly remarkable and wonderful. And you're doing so much for young people when you get them out away from all the nonsense and get them out into the great outdoors. I can't thank you enough. Hey, you know what time it is. Time for me to lose my voice again. No, it is time for the morning briefing. Good morning, my friends. Oh, that is so good, and it is so good to spend time with you here this morning. Don't forget, give us a like, share these videos, and subscribe to the channel. And make sure you tick the bell. You'll be notified when there's new content like that short that we put out earlier this morning about bluefin tuna up there in the Channel Islands. Let me just start there because I just talked to Daniel who works on the boat. And of course, Tucker McCombs runs that rig. It is no surprise to yours truly that it was the endeavor that got on that fish. What an incredible sight it was. And man, there seems to be some bluefin tuna up there. Now, we've got some weather. It's nasty. It's blowing here, and it's not blowing normally on the beach. So we're dealing with windy weather all week long, I'll tell you that. And unfortunately, that forced the Endeavor back to the docks. They are back in. But once again, they saw quite a bit of fish. One of those fish taken on a cold sniper. One of those fish on a live squid. Yes, they love live squid. Bluefin have been feeding on squid all winter long into the spring. So really good to see that. And what that means to me, I mean, we've got fish down the Baja coast. We've got fish out towards San Clemente Island. We've got fish in the Channel Islands. God knows where else it is that we haven't stumbled onto. There's a lot of fish around. We just need the oceanography to come together. We need the water to warm up a little bit more, and it's going to be game on. We're looking down the barrel of an incredible season. I'm telling you, and some of you are saying, man, I was just out on a trip, and we caught nothing. I know. I'm talking long game here, okay? I'm talking the big picture, the view from 30,000 feet. Looking down at this, it's going to be good. The water will eventually warm up, and then we have an El Nino moving in on us in the late summer, it sounds like. And that is going to spell some awesome fishing, not only on that bluefin tuna, but we are hoping, you know, more tropical and subtropical fish as we get into later in the year. Yellowfin tuna, Dorado, all of that stuff should join the party. It should be really incredible. And we'll be watching that for you very, very closely as we go along. And, of course, albacore, since the water is still so cool, and boats are spread out everywhere. I mean, we don't have any excuses this year. We don't catch any albacore. It's time for me to do something like jump off a palm tree or something like that. All right, so good signal up there. All right, let's talk bluefin tuna last night. A few more fish caught. Some boats had okay scores. Other guys struggled with it. We had boats spread from down the Baja coast, way below Ensenada, to up near Pyramid Head at San Clemente Island. And there was uh, decent scores for a couple of guys and then struggling for others. At least we saw a little bit more fish. It has been very tough down there in San Diego. The daytime bite has been very poor here lately. There's been occasional nighttime scores like last night. There was some rays of sunshine. But the overall picture is while we are still seeing fish, they're not biting that well. And that has been the case. Some of those gleaming br uh, bright stars player supreme three-day trip a buck 18 on the bluefin tuna. i don't know how you can beat that and they had a significant amount of uh, 40 fish in the 50 to 175 pound class so that's some big ones on that trip most of it's like 20 to 30 pound bluefin tuna but they had a significant hit on some of that bigger stuff and now we're dealing with a little bit of weather i'm not sure that that's the, what's going to be the key factor here. It's not that bad where these fish wouldn't bite in it, but I got to tell you, 
it's been slow and tough and we'll just have to keep watching it very closely it's a beautiful osprey wing spread zooms on by that's a beautiful sight here this morning all right so that's what we have been dealing with in san diego the san diego out of sea force war fishing in, in san diego they've been catching some bluefin off and on yesterday it was straight bonito they had 115 of those big gray bonito which incidentally provide great action and they are great to eat. I love sashimi bluefin or uh, bonito. It is good. I like sashimi bluefin also. Several other guys got a little piece of it, but most boats have been struggling. It's very difficult now on the bluefin tuna. But that big picture, fish now from down the Baja Coast out to Clemente to up into the, the Channel Islands, that is a good signal. That is a good sign. And we've got our fingers crossed that it's all going to come together. You need to bring for sure. You got to bring your heavy tackle at 100 to 130 pound two speed reel, and then you need something with 60 to 80, and then something with 25 to 40, and that should get you through. So, hopefully, we'll see that continue to improve. Coronado Islands kicking out a couple of yellowtail, but mostly rockfish, ling cod, um, sculping out in that neck of the woods, few bass out there, several boats fish the islands, and hopefully, that yellow bite will get going. But again, we're dealing with this cooler water this year. It has been really something that we have to overcome and we need mother nature to warm it up and of course all of this wind that we're experiencing now is not going to warm the water up it's going to keep it very cool it's kind of a day that you know those albies like to buy it on who knows and hopefully we'll see some local barracuda here very very soon also all right let's take a look uh, out there at san clemente island where again the thunderbird had another great trip I don't know how you can beat a Thunderbird 22 yellows to 42 pounds. Brian Kelly with that 44 pound fish. How can you beat that? That is a gorgeous fish. And you can see several of the other fish that they took on board the Thunderbird. Thunderbird's been on that big grade yellow tail on a regular basis and doing quite well. So we'll continue to watch it very closely. The Freedom had five halibut, a bunch of rockfish and sheep's head on their overnight trip. Or I, I think that might have been a day and a half. Not sure on that one. El Dorado with a halibut, eight ling cut, limits of rockfish. Sean on the pride. Captain Sean checked in and had a good little catch of yellows and some white sea bass and some halibut. And, of course, loaded everybody up with the reds out of 22nd Street Landing in San Pedro, California. So, Or San Pedro, however you uh, like it. So there's some decent island fishing going on. And you can always fall back on the rockfish. Freedom is going on Tuesday night. They've got another trip, a day and a half trip, leaving from 22nd Street Landing in San Pedro. 310-832-8304. You can jump on board with Captain Trevor and Captain Tino, always providing great service, 100% work ethic, and a shot maybe at some bluefin or big yellows or who knows what. We'll keep our eyes on that for you very, very closely. Hopefully things are going to come together. All right, um, taking a look up there in the Channel Islands. Let's look at that. Of course, the big news is that BFT on the Endeavor. Other guys up there, it's windy now and it is snotty, so it's going to make things a little bit more difficult. Cobra with the white sea bass, four halibut, Mirage, two halibut, two lingcod. Coral Sea up there at Santa Barbara, seven halibut. And uh, the Stardust had rockfish and lingcod up there in that neck of the woods. So again, good rock fishing. And when I mentioned halibut and I just mentioned the exotics, if those guys turn their attention to rockfish, you're going to get all you want. So there's great rock fishing up there. However, as I said, we're dealing with weather right now. It's windy, even windy here in Surfside early in the morning. And that means that uh, offshore, it's probably quite nastier than it is right here this early. All right, uh, local guys up and down the coast getting sculping and rockfish, that kind of thing. I keep hoping that we're going to get a shot of Barracuda. But once again, we're dealing with cool water. Not too cool for the gar to show up. I'd like to see it right up there around 63, 65, something like that. And that gar should show up on all the anchovy that seems to be prevalent this year. Enterprise with a halibut limits of sculpin. Went over to Catalina and picked up the bass and the bonita. Uh, not bad at all. Other boats, uh, Pursuit. Um, you know, all the guys that go to Catalina Island, they're getting an occasional sea bass, halibut. Yellowtail at times can be quite good. But uh, once again, a little bit breezy conditions right now. And then they're able to turn and focus on rockfish. Julian Lisea on uh, one of our local pairs. Wide open thresher shark fishing. Julian, 
nice going. I mean, we are so blessed to be able to go out on a pier and catch fish that are acrobatic, they're big, and they're really good to eat. And that is one heck of a day that Julian and friends had out catching thresher sharks. T-sharks are a blast to catch, and that is really something that I marveled at. Grunion Run tonight, we had one last night. I was too tired to come down here, check it out. Had a great Father's Day with my two boys, Philip and Patrick, and I want to thank them for making that extra special for me. It was really a great day. All right, so we're dealing with some wind, but uh, big picture, man, I like the fact that there's BFT up there in the Channel Islands now. Get going, Tucker, Daniel, all the guys on the Endeavor that got to experience that. That was really special. And, of course, we'll continue to monitor and watch everything else. There's been some good corvina fishing going on on the beaches. There's more sand crabs starting to show up. Kind of like early spring, but we're almost into summer because our oceanography is about a month behind and it's going to remain that way with this wind. Thanks for checking in. We'll have more shorts and special updates throughout the day. If anything happens, you want to check Freedman Adventures first and we can't thank you enough for spending time with us. Have a great day. Always great to see you on this lovely Monday morning. Hope you had a wonderful Father's Day and I hope to see you really, really soon.